Mayor Brandon Johnson says the city of Chicago is almost at capacity with migrants. This as more and more asylum seekers are making their way to the suburbs and other towns, villages that surround Chicago. As of today, Chicago has received over 26,000 asylum seekers. At least 10 buses of additional migrants were expected to arrive today. And the OEMC says at least three buses arrived in the suburbs yesterday. Local leaders are meeting with Mayor Brandon Johnson about what to do as he meets with the mayors of Denver and New York to talk about what happens next. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza has the story. All of our cities have reached a point where we are either close to capacity or nearly out of room. Almost at capacity. Without significant intervention from the federal government, this mission will not be sustained. Still, migrants continue to make their way from buses onto Metra and into the city. Chicago counts at least 19 buses that they know of. We called around and asked towns, villages, places outside the city how many buses they've received. Plotted them on this map. Buses are stopping as far as Kankakee. When we counted, we found at least 28. Arriving not just in the city of Chicago, but surrounding communities as well. Mayor Brendan Johnson met with the mayors of New York and Denver today, discussing their joint efforts to secure more federal funding. We also need better coordination at the border. He's also met with leaders in other Illinois suburbs to connect with those who are receiving migrants they were not expecting. Literally dropping families off in the middle of nowhere. I don't think anyone was prepared for um, the enormity. Elizabeth Scott is the village manager of the village of University Park. She reports at least 15 buses that have stopped in her village since Friday. About 130 families made the decision to stay there. We're trying to absorb as many as we can. However, you know, being a small community, we just don't have all the resources that we need. Worse, one bus actually dropped people off in the middle of a cornfield. And they're walking down the street, toddlers with no coats. The city anticipates over 10 buses will arrive today. No one knows where. And by the time we get word, it's really us at that point trying to be reactive instead of proactive. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.